This is page 526. This is homework problem number 11. You have the integral of square root of y times the natural log of y. Oh my gosh, my handwriting on this thing sometimes is so goofy. So that's what you have. Okay, I'm going to go ahead because I know I'm going to have to anyway. Change that to y to the 1 half power, natural log of y, dy. Your job right now is to figure out what's going to be u and what's going to be dv. So uh, we've talked about the natural log before. I don't know the antiderivative of it. I can only find the regular derivative. So natural log of y is going to be your u. That makes everything else. The y to the 1 half dy is your dv. So now get the other two pieces. The derivative of u. Remember the derivative of a natural log is 1 over whatever you have there times dy. Antiderivative of y to the 1 half to get me v, that's y to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. Okay, formula says it's u times v. So I have 2 thirds y to the 3 halves times the natural log, natural log of y. That's u times v. It's just in a different order. Minus v times du. So I have 2 thirds y to the 3 halves times 1 over y dy. All right. So we actually went through this in class um, if you weren't there. So remember, before you try to do antiderivative, like your first glance, you might say, oh, I have a product here, so I'm going to have to do my u's and v's and dv's all over again. No, simplify what you can in here. First thing first, you can take out any coefficients. Since this is all multiplication, I could take out the 2 thirds. So that's one thing I'm going to do, which will give me minus 2 thirds integral of. Now you have y to the 3 halves times 1 over y. Well, combine those two. Um, I mean, if you need to rewrite it, that's y to the 3 halves times y to the negative whole number 1. And when you're multiplying, you add exponents, 3 halves plus a negative 2 halves leaves you with 1 half. So this thing in the integral condenses to just y to the 1 half. Okay, you're reducing. Um, or another way to look at it is you had y to the 3 halves over y, and you subtract exponents. Well, just remember, it's, it's y to the first, which is 2 halves. 3 halves minus 2 halves gives you y to the 1 half. doesn't matter how you look at it, that's what's left. And then I have, what do I have out here? 2 thirds y to the 3 halves, natural log of y. All right. So, antiderivative, add 1 to your exponent, you get y to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. And then you have times this, negative 2 thirds. And 2 thirds y to the 3 halves times the natural log of y. And the rest is just clean up. Um, just multiply those two together. 2 thirds y to the 3 halves times the natural log of y minus 4 ninths y to the 3 halves plus c. Again, if you're trying to check your answers in the book, they may have factored out a 2 thirds. They may have gotten a common denominator. They may have factored out the y to the 3 halves. So just check your answers. See if they factored something out. Uh, but that's what you get. That's number 11.